the goal of this video is to illustrate how to write and run XML files. I'll be taking an example from the Mujoko documents. You can get this example by typing hello.xml and then you will see this particular example turning up. I've taken these lines and I copy pasted in a text editor and then I renamed it as hello2.xml. I can also open the contents of this file in Microsoft Visual Studio. This is what the file looks like. The best way to illustrate this is to look at what it produces. So let's go to terminal and type python 3 minus m mujoko viewer. Now, depending on your computer, you might have to type python instead of python 3. When you run this code, you'll get a graphical user interface like this. Here you can take the hello2.xml and drag drop it. What you see here is that a green box is dropped on a plane. You can replay this by clicking on reload. Let's look what the code looks like. Here you can see there's a Mujoko starting identifier which is always completed by putting a backslash. Similarly, there's a world body which ends with a backslash. Now in this case, there are two geometries. One is a plane. The color of the plane is, well, RGBA. The 0.9 indicates it's a red color. The one here indicates it's a opaque color. For the box, we have a R of zero, G of 0.9, it's a green box, a B of zero, and then it's opaque. The size determines the dimensions of the box. We can now go ahead and try to create another box. So I'll take simply take this code, copy paste it. I'll move this from the location here is x is 0, y is 0, z is 1. So I'll move it slightly up, so 2. I'll keep the size same, but I'll change the color from green to blue. I can go back to the graphical user interface and say reload. In this case, case, I saw two blocks being dropped on top of each other. I'll zoom out so I can now see everything in one shot. Now to make changes to this, I could keep making changes and uh, keep playing it, but it's much easier if I stop the animation and, or make it still. In order to do that, what we'll do is we'll take gravity and turn it off. To turn gravity off, we go back to the code here I use the flag options, gravity equals zero, zero, zero. And I close this time. Now if you go here and say reload, you see that the boxes don't fall down. Now I'm going to try to rotate the blue colored box. In order to do that, let me see how to rotate it. In, in that case, I would need to know the axis about which I need to rotate. So what I do here is I go to rendering. In rendering, go to frame, click on world. This shows us the axis of the world frame. There is a red, blue, and green. This indicates the X for the red, Y for the green, and Z for the blue. Now in this case, I want to rotate the blue box about the y-axis. So for that, I'll go back to the code and I'll specify a tag called Euler. We'll get to more details about this later and specify the z, the y-axis to be rotated by 90 degrees. So 0, 90, 0. I'll save this and I'll reload. And you can see that the box has been rotated. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this blue box slightly down. So the Z location will change and I'll move it slightly to the right. Slightly down 1.5, slightly to the right 0.1. Go back and say reload. Okay, now here I happen to move it along the Y axis. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to move along the X axis. So I'll go back and change this from 
y x. Okay, now it's moved to the right. The last step would be to create another geometry. Here I'll create a sphere and the sphere only needs one dimension, which is the radius, let's say specify 0.1. I do not need an Euler angle for this. And I want to place it slightly above this, so 2.0. And then to make the color, let's choose a color of yellow. So that would be 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0. Now we see that there's a yellow box on top of the blue box on top of the green box. Now it's time to turn the simulation on. Let's go back here in gravity and set it on. Save this file, go back here and then do reload. So you can see it falls as expected. To learn more about the options available in the modification, you can go to XML reference and you can skim through this options and get whatever options you think you need in order to create new geometries, change the sizes, colors, and so on.